Salma receives $3,600 from her family for her birthday. She shared her birthday money with her siblings, dividing it into three equal shares. She invested her portion for college. By the time she was 18, she had four times the amount she invested. How much money does Salma have by the time she is 18? Well, she received $3,600, but then she shared this money with her siblings by dividing it into three equal shares, which means we now divide this amount by three, and then she invests her portion, which is this quotient, and by the time she is 18, she had four times the amount she invested, which means we now need to multiply this amount by four or express the amount as four times this quotient. The value of this expression will give us how much money Salma has by the time she is 18. Following the order of operations, we simplify inside the parentheses first by determining this quotient. 3,600 divided by three equals 1,200, which gives us four times 1,200, and four times 1,200 is 4,800. So now we know Salma has $4,800 by the time she is 18. For the next part, we're told to let S equal the amount Salma received in dollars from her family for her birthday. Let an expression that represents how much money Salma has by the time she is 18 in terms of S. So for the first part, we were told Salma received $3,600 from her family, this amount here. And now we're told to let this amount be equal to the variable S. If we substitute S for 3,600, we have the expression four times S divided by three. And now let's determine this product. Remember, we can write four as a fraction with the denominator of one. We can express this as four over one times S over three. And now to multiply, we multiply the numerators and denominators, which gives us four S divided by three or if we want, we can express this as 4 thirds s. Either of these two expressions are the simplified expressions from the given information. Let's go ahead and enter 4 thirds s. I hope you found this helpful.